If you hear this weird noise outside, it is my redneck neighbors riding their lawnmower, their riding lawnmower, up their gravel road. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for this particular eyeshadow palette review because it is one of my favorite color stories. I have, I've never seen anything quite like this before in a smaller palette, but this is the Lucid Dreams palette by Pink Crush. And I'm going to make three looks with them. This is my final look. But look at this color story. Look at it. It is so beautiful. And not only that, but we just don't see these colors like by themselves, like all together in one palette in, in a smaller size palette. And it's beautiful. Like the moment that I saw it, I was like, I have to buy that. But I was talking with one of the co-owners and they actually released eight new eyeshadow palettes, this being one of them. And she actually showed them all to me before they were actually out in the public and I was able to pick one. And of course I picked this one. And uh, cause that was, you know, sometimes you just come across a palette that you're like 110% I'm getting that. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. I know I've talked a lot, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the looks and I will see you in just a second. Roll the intro right now. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get started. So I've been looking at this palette trying to think of inspiration and I know that whenever I went back and watched the Metamorphosis palette review, which I'll put a card up and somewhere in this video, you'll see it. But I thought to myself, okay, my last, my last review was really super complicated. Like it wasn't super complicated, but there were a lot of steps. So I think I'm going to do something a little bit less complicated this time. At least for this look. I can't promise you at all the looks that I do. Now since my hoodie has some purple and pink and kind of this minty green in it, I think I'm going to go into Illusion and put that in my crease and then put this on the inner part. So it'll be half and half. And yeah, let's do that. I'm taking a Refer 13 and using it for the Illusion shade, which is that turquoise shade that we saw that was beautiful. So... I've got my Juvia's Place primer on, which I'm looking to replace. So I went ahead and bought Give Me Glow. And hopefully they'll be coming in soon because Juvia's Place got in trouble. And I don't really cancel brands right away, but I don't really want to support them right now. If they can do better, that's a whole other thing. So I'm just kind of doing this job where I kind of come towards the end of that arch and kind of fluff it out a little bit. I have to be a little intentional. Can't be super messy. And I'm taking it just above the crease just a little bit. I said it was in the crease, but it was actually kind of with this kind of brush, it's gotta be a little bit above the crease. So Daydream is going to go on a Morphe M562 and I'm going to just need something that's a little bit more precise. And although these two are secondary shades, I was hoping maybe we could, if you know, if it doesn't really blend very well, we can add in some blue. I haven't had any bad experience so far with Pink Crush, so you know, we're good, we're good. and. So I may have to layer the turquoise a little bit more to get those two to blend, which I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it. I'm going to take a diffuse brush and just kind of diffuse the edges a little bit. Just like so. I just, I'm using it like right like this on the tip. <laughs> Not on the tip, <laughs> but on the side. Just the tip. That's pretty. I'm going to blend it with a Sigma E36. I've got all my clean brushes. I'm so happy. It took me a long time. I have too many brushes. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's really good. Yeah. These are lovely. Lovely mattes. No patchiness, no issues, just beautiful, bright pigment blending well into each other. Hmm. So now we have that kind of elegant swoop. Okay, follow me and have faith in me. Okay, <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to take Delirious and I'm going to put it on my lid about from like where that turquoise blend starts to blend into that blue kind of the first the last outer half sorry <laughs> I'm gonna take a real techniques brush it's like their insta pop large shader brush and I'm gonna pack that on it's such a beautiful shade like lovely candy pink shade love that and I'm gonna make a little bit of an angle here you see that that's beautiful. That's beautiful, baby. You could just put this all over your lid and have a wash of color in the summertime. Do a graphic liner. You're good to go. Or just put it all over your lid, add, add some mascara, and you're good to go. Okay. I'm going to take a Dreamlike and put it on the rest of the lid. We're going to pack it on. A Beauty Bay 205. Spraying it because we don't want fallout. And I'm just putting it on right here have you guys ever had any lucid dreams I would love to know if you have please let me know in the comments below let me know what you what you were dreaming I'm gonna take that surreal shade see if we can get some interesting effect out of it maybe before we do that let's just put a little bit more delirious on top to kind of makes a, a blue blend nice Oh, it's like a pastel vacation. Whatever that means. Okay, so I've sprayed the brush for Beauty Bay 207 for that surreal shade, that kind of topper shade. So let's see what we got here. I'm just kind of putting it right in the middle. And it's really easy to blend shimmers together. So if you ever find yourself kind of going, okay, well, it just looks like chunk of color chunk of color chunk of color just layer them kind of on top of each other so it's kind of like painting basically sometimes you just got to go in with your finger yeah so now i can see where it looks like have you ever seen an eyeshadow that is aqua but it has pink reflect in it that's kind of what i'm getting from it i don't know if you can see it because that's about as best as I can do right now. <laughs> I'm not going to show it all on camera, but I'm going to put Delirious. I'm going to smoke that underneath my lash line and my lower lash line. And then I'm going to like do more of a tight line underneath it with Daydream. So I decided to go ahead and smoke out like this Delirious shade out here as I put it underneath my water line or water line. Goodness gracious. <laughs> my lower lash line. And then... I'm going to use this um, this flat definer brush to do the daydream. So the lightest shade in the palette is Delirious, so that's what we're going to use for the inner corner. That I'm going to use for the inner corner, not us, unless you're doing this along with me. I said it was going to be simple, didn't I? Well, simpler. <laughs> okay, I am going to put on an, some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'll be right back. Hey, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I really like this look a lot. At first, I was wondering if it was going to pull together and the way I had envisioned it, but I kind of let go of the end result. So I just kind of made it up as I went along, if you could tell. Although like the sparkle itself in the middle with those two shades um, layered over each other, these two, and then the, was it Ritual? Surreal. Sorry, surreal. I was not expecting it to look like that, but I actually really like it. Like I could put this whole thing uh, all over my lid right here and just top that off and that would be beautiful. But we just got that one in, in the middle, so that's fine. I like it, I like it a lot. And so I went ahead and kind of color matched some things as I like to do. This is Petal by ColourPop, Petal Pusher, sorry. And, and so I used that as blush along with around like the cheekbone area. I used just a hint of this Fenty blush. Uh, it's Cool Berry, Cheeks Out Cool Berry. And then I used the ColourPop Super Cheek, Super Shock Cheek in Hippo. So I like this one. It's I like the Super Shop formula. I do, for the most part. But let's see. Oh, and Suede, Matte Suede Lipstick. This is a Violet Smoke along with the NYX Suede Lipstick that matches. I just like it. I like it a lot. And then I put a little bit of the Filler Instinct Lip Gloss on top of it, just a, enough. This is actually very sheer, so I just put it right in the middle of my lip. And that's that. So, so far, so good. Didn't have any problems with blending or layering or anything. So let's go ahead and move on to the second look. All right, I'm back. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna use my MAC paint pot this time. Good old MAC paint pot. Old familiar. <laughs> what do you guys think I should do about my background? I've been wondering if I need to kind of update it. I'm down here in my garage slash basement, so this is not a beauty room. This is my art studio, and so the walls are concrete, and I have some things on these little hooks, but they're such a pain to get in the wall still. But if you guys think I should spruce it up, or what, if you have any ideas, let me know. Okay, I'm going to go into Daydream right here, and I'm going to put it a little bit higher around here in this area. And then we're going to take Tranquility, this sort of satiny, mattish shade. It's, it's not quite like a true matte, but it's got a little bit of a hint of sparkle in it. I guess it's not really satin. It's, it's like a very subtle, subtle shimmer in there, but it's, it's mostly matte. So we're going to deepen that up in the crease. I'm going to take the Scott Barn 62 and use it. Oh, I feel so luxurious using this brush. Okay, did I... Was this cleaned? I cleaned almost all my brushes, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> oh, they sat in a pile and on my kitchen counter. And I have these little racks that I bought on Amazon. And I love them, but I don't have enough for all of them. I'd have to buy like five more. And I don't know. They just sat there and sat there until my favorite brushes got dirty. And so I just decided to do it all at once. Kind of just moving up and then kind of swirling it out a little bit on the edge there. So that it's kind of diffused. I don't want to go full force with it. But it's nice and um, buildable. Yeah, that went on really nice. I can take a BH Cosmetics blending brush and use that with Tranquility in my crease. And it looks like they're blending just fine. But I'm probably going to have to take, um, I'm going to have to use probably that Morphe 562 or maybe a Blend Bunny brush to get right in there. I'm trying not to be too aggressive with my skin. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Blend Bunny B4. And I am so happy that she is selling individual brushes now. So you don't have to get the whole set. Although I do recommend getting the set. But look at how nice it gets in there. I'll bring that Tranquility down in my outer V, I think. Getting out that trusty Sigma E45. Kind of sheer almost, but there we go. I take it back. I take it back what I said. There we go. Look how nice that is. Oh, I love color. And they're nice and, um, they're nice and buildable. I think I mentioned that already. I know, I know. I sound like a broken record. We need lucidity on the lids. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Absolutely stunning. Wow. That's beautiful. Goodness. Lord have mercy on the soul. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to layer some more on top. <laughs> Get me nice and shiny and sparkly and foiled and oh. <sighs> <laughs> this is bothering me. So there's a, a spot with Daydream over here that I don't know. It's not really patchy. It's just I think I muddied it a little bit. So I'm taking an E25 by Sigma and I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. I think this might have been better packed on because look how nice it looks now. So I'm taking Dreamscape just lightly going underneath my lash line. I don't really want a super smoked out look. I'm going to take that Surreal shade and put it in my inner, inner corner. I'm going to use a BH smudge brush this time. So I'm going to put some liner on and I'm going to put some, I don't know if I'm going to wear lashes right now, but liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so what do we think? I love it. 
love it. I feel feisty whenever I wear this eyeshadow. <laughs> so I've got on the Fenty Beauty Cool Berry for my blush. I've got Mars Melter by Kaleidos for my highlighter. I have I have NYX <laughs> I have NYX lip pencil in Peekaboo 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 Neutral. And then I have I have the NYX This is Milky Gloss in Lilac Splash. This is one of my favorite ones. I like this. This is new. I really enjoyed putting this look together. I was just a little confused there for a moment because Daydream was kind of somewhat sheer but then i realized it wasn't that it's sheer it's just needs it needs to be packed on instead of blended out and i did blend it with a dark kind of green toned blue so it kind of got a little bit muddy out here as you saw so all i did was basically take a bigger brush and more densely packed brush and packed it on so everything's all good i have no complaints <laughs> That's a Virgo saying that she doesn't have a complaint and she's not criticizing it. So, so far so good. Let's go ahead and move on to the third look and I will see you there. Okay, so last and final look. I've been looking at this for a while and I think I'm going to take this Paradise that I haven't used yet and I'm going to put it in my crease and I'm going to use, I believe, um, the Diffuse brush. No, I'm going to use this one by Moda or Royal and Lane Nickel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get on to it. I've got Danessa Myrick's Color Fix in my, or on my lids, which the lift, the, the shade lift is completely white. She's got a whole bunch of different shades. I've got several of them, but uh, I want to collect them all, but I just bought a bunch of uh, the, the new one from Halsey, the About Face collection. Like she just came out with brights, which I have been waiting forever for her to get brights, so lots of fun to be had on the channel. I can't wait to get those in and just swatch them and make wonderful fun with them. So since I've already used this shade, Tranquility, I'm going to use this Dreamscape shade. This is more of a satin, but you can use satins in your crease. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal because whenever they blend out, you can't really tell anyways. And I'm using a, did I mention I'm using a Blend Bunny B1? Because if I haven't, that's what I'm using. I know some people just like to, and it's fine, you know, some people like to just put their colors on and blend later. That's fine. You know, I kind of, I guess maybe it's just habit, but I end up blending right then and there. I guess that's like the painter side of me, but I've done that with my makeup for a while. And I'm thinking it may or, I don't know, it may or may not be useful to save time while recording to just lay the color down and then blend it all later. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys blend your eyeshadows right away or do you go back and kind of fix things later? I'm gonna take a Beauty Bay 205. I'm going to go into Utopia, that beautiful, rich, deep purple satin shade. I'm gonna put it in my outer V. So you can use shatins to, shatins, <laughs> shat. <laughs> Wow, you can use satins just about anywhere. As long as you blend them to make them a little bit more matte, you're good to go. So I'm just laying it in kind of like that. And I'm kind of going in at a diagonal like this, just because it helps to kind of lift things. I know we're kind of obsessed with that lifted look right now. I'm going to take that same shade and put it on like the last half of my lower lash line with a smoke brush by BH Cosmetics. I kind of go with the flow. I mean, I do plan my looks a little bit, but I don't want to squander myself too much. I'm just taking a diffuse brush and I'm kind of diffusing these edges and smoking them out right here. And um, so they lighten up a little bit. I want to take Sublime and use it on my lid, but I kind of need something else to blend it through, like to get that transition to Utopia. So I'm going to put that on first, on the first third of my lid, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's a putty shade, so I think I'm going to just lightly put it on with my finger. Let's see how 
it goes. Maybe I could put that turquoise underneath. Because it is somewhat transparent, but you could also probably layer it on top of itself. There we go. There's a little bit more pigment. Ooh. Take a brush and spray it. I'm going to bring it up like this into the socket a little bit. That way it'll kind of give a little bit of dimension and kind of go with that diagonal look. And that way it'll kind of all come together and you won't have just like a block of color there. So maybe since Sublime is somewhat transparent, maybe take a little bit more of that Paradise shade. Should it Paradise or Dreamscape? Let's do a little bit of Dreamscape and then we'll put Sublime over it. Oh, it's pretty on the lid. Yeah, I like that. And I'm just going to take my finger and kind of press it on top. Ooh, look at that. It's transforming more into like a cool tone green. Do you see that? Oh, I love transparent duochromes. They're so cool. Oh, wow. I got a big chunk right there. That's okay. We can just tap it. Tap it around. Usually, if you get a chunky duochrome or a chunky shimmer, or metallic shade, you can kind of just tap it. And then usually the pigment will distribute pretty good. That's fun. Ooh, yeah. I like that. I'm gonna do a little bit more blending and then I'm just gonna basically maybe, maybe go back in, add a little bit more of that blue shade, that Dreamscape, and then I will add some mascara, maybe some lashes. And we'll be done with it. I think I'll just do mascara right now. Ooh, I like this. It's so fun. Oh, I love this eyeshadow palette. It's so much fun because it just like, they all go so well together. Like they really do. You really can't go wrong. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I'll be right back. Okay, I really like how this turned out a lot. And in fact, I went out on a limb and I was like, you know what, they had sent me some of their water activated liners and I talked about this in another video I had gotten a smaller water activated liner it was really good and in fact I looked on their Etsy shop and their palettes they have palettes that are water activated liners for like $27 and you get a lot of colors and they are some of their best sellers so if you are into that sort of thing definitely check it out I'm gonna go get some for myself and you know I went ahead and I started working on, on this white and I screwed up on this eye big time. So I had to basically take off the whole look on this eye and redo all the shadow and everything again, but it turned out just fine. And in fact, where I screwed up, I put a couple of rhinestones. You can't really see them, but they're like sapphire colored rhinestones. So, and where are they? Oh, here they are. There are two of them, okay? And two, two boxes like these. The two containers and they are on Amazon and I'll link them uh, in the description box below if you're ever curious as to what else is on my face I always list everything in the description box I really love this palette I re and I knew it as soon as I saw it I was like that is such a beautiful color story not only that but the quality of the shadows is amazing You've seen it. You saw me make three looks with it so far, and I can't wait to, to make more. I'm going to make another one for Instagram. I and dare I say, I know, I know I shouldn't have my final thoughts until I kind of do my palette roundup and my makeup roundup, but I believe that this is one of my most favorite color stories and one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes I've ever tried because I can't think of anything. There's nothing that I don't like on this in this palette. I could make so many looks with these, just these 12 shades. So highly recommend it if you love color like I do and you want something that's different because it is different. I don't see color stories that look like this. Not with this quality at least. These are my three Pink Crush palettes and I plan to buy more. And I'm not just saying that because they sent me PR. If any of you have known me here on this channel, I may not have been doing makeup 
for a long time, but, or makeup videos for a long time, but I have always been honest in my reviews, period. That being said, for a long winded wrap up there, I highly recommend this palette and you won't be disappointed if you get it. So make sure you keep an eye on their Instagram because they've got all the information on when they're going to restock it. And I, I think she said two to three weeks. So, so with that being said, I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope that you found some kind of inspiration in these looks. I love doing these kinds of videos. I love creating multiple looks. I may not be able to do it for every eyeshadow palette. It just depends on my time and my schedule. So we will have some art videos coming up. I promise you, I know some of you have been waiting for me to do something. <laughs> and while I did have an art related video last week, I am still doing the Tritone Colored Pencil Review and I'm going to be busting out some Holbein soon. I won't tell you what kind or anything like that because there's so many things going on right now, <laughs> but I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, Pink Crush, for sending me this wonderful palette and the eyeliners. I'm definitely going to be buying more, and I hope that you guys have a safe and wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.